first of those large dogs, Tracy Hunt and Lucky Hungarian Vizsla from Southampton, seven years of age. First of ten large dogs to go. Off we go. Looking into that tunnel. Tight left hand turn into those weaves. Not the fastest, but... And, dear, oh dear, that's an elimination. That's a French for his first, and it is an early elimination then for Tracy and for Rocky, but they will, as always, complete the round. The dog will relish the run. The dog will enjoy the run. The dog hasn't seen those crossed arms. And it is all about enjoyment. That is definitely the buzzword throughout the four days competition at Crop. Everyone has to enjoy it. And Lockie's moment in the spotlight just coming to a close, Graham. Well deserved. Hopefully they've both had a fantastic time. And here we are. The dog goes around the obstacle it's supposed to take and does the next obstacle out of order. And then you'll see the crossed arms, which mean that that's an elimination. Jackie Slamming from Holt in Norfolk, Lottie, a large Munster Lander, five years of age, first agility dog, loving to be competing at their first cross, tremendous drive and agility. Can you tell us a little bit about this particular dog? We haven't seen too many of those around, well I haven't anyway. No, and if I'm totally honest with you, uh, neither have I. Fair play, um, fair play. But I have seen a couple, uh, the great dogs, the working dogs, they want to work, and this is uh, a little bit of work for them as well, although it is all fun. Keeps them active. It, it really is. Agility is one of those things that uh, keeps the dog physically um, tired and mentally tired. If you've got a dog that's both of those things, you've got a dog that's much easier to live with. Yep. But he's having a fantastic time out there, tail wagging all the way around. Very good for training these dogs, apparently. Gum dog as well, completing the round. Jackie and Lottie. And the best so far. Haley Latches from Coventry with Maverick, although they call Maverick the retriever. Kevin, when he behaves like a, a typical teenager. Ken, is this a bit of a rarity in agility, this particular one? Again, it, it's not common, but uh, you, you do see quite a few of them, and uh, they do really, really well. Again, it's another working breed. Like They'd like to be challenged. They like to be constantly on the move and going, uh, and agility is the perfect thing for them to do. Another gun dog as well, Graham, nearly three years of age. First time and making a very, very decent fist of it as well. We'll call him Maverick because he has behaved perfectly so far. No strains of Kevin in, in this particular round. Good round. Well done. Well yes. done indeed. Well done. Well done, Haley. Well done, Maverick. Good enough for number one at the moment. Just got just a little bit close to it, but it stayed on. That's the luck of the draw. Could be another gun dog here. We're looking at Lucy Conway and Bailey, a crossbreed. Basset Hound crossed with Labrador. Interesting cross this one, Graham. Interesting, and probably the less said the better on that. OK. Uh, <laughs> nicely into the weaves there, double footing it through. That's just one of the two methods that dogs d choose to do it. All in a run round there, and that'll be five faults. Clench fist by the judge. Five faults for refusals, three refusals anywhere on the course means an automatic elimination. And here we go, really nice running dog walk there. She's just got to turn this dog nice and tight if she can. Back towards the seesaw. This is a test of confidence because it moves and the dog would naturally want to jump off it. But a nicely made seesaw there, just a couple more to go. This is a very nice round, just an unfortunate five faults there for Lucy. Well done. Five faults means second place at the moment for Lucy Conway and Bailey, the very interesting crossbreed. Lynn Gresler and Taho, Australian Kelpie. Lynn from Norwich, five years of age, originally from Germany. Only a few months after 
moving to the UK. She got into this sport first dog that uh, she has owned as an adult first agility dog as well. Tahoe, the Australian Kelpie with Lynn Gressler. And they're moving pretty well and they are clear so far. Gas from the crowd. Oh, they just clipped that one. That was coming. Got a little bit out of sync anyway. So five penalties. Tunnel's okay. The time will be excellent. 37.5 and just the five faults. Top two, that'll do. I think you called it perfectly there, Jim. Just got a little bit more out of sync as long as it further it went on and just resulted in that pole coming down. Chris Stamp, four-year-old, a standard poodle called Scrappy. I think it's been quite a while since a standard poodle has competed in the ABC here at Crufts. What a beautiful sight that is as well. What are your emotions when you see that, Graham? I think it's just fantastic that we're seeing all oh. these ABC dogs. That it really it just illustrates to everybody that you don't have to have a border collie, you, you don't have to have a working cock spaniel. Uh, every dog could compete in agility, uh, yes, albeit at different levels, but get out there and enjoy your dog. There was a, a real gasp as uh, Scrappy went through those weaves. We'll have a look at that at the end of this uh, very special, a memorable round, not necessarily memorable because. Uh, Scrappy is going to be in at the sharp end of this competition, but a memorable round. What a beautiful sight here on the green carpet at Crofts. Uh, I'm just going to show you this dog's fantastic style. Look at that. It's almost like dancing through those weaves. Okay, so now it's Dylan's turn. This is Katie Jones. Katie Jones and Dylan. Six-year-old cross from Ellesmere in Shropshire, third agility dog, competed here last year and finished third overall, so a combination to watch, but uh, Dylan does get pretty nervous at this show. We can forgive him for that. But made the top three last year, so should know what's ahead of him here. Good start, A-frame, that's fine, good contact at the end, not of agreement from Hillary, but sadly, the crossed arms are raised very, very quickly, and that is a, an elimination for Katie and for Dylan. They will complete the round. And, uh, of course, the handler never shows the dog what has happened. Round completed. Generous crowd giving good applause. Have a look at this elimination, Graham. Oh, and over the A-frame. Nicely made contact, and then the handler went one way, and he said, I'm going straight on if you're not going to tell me to do anything else. Laura Jennings and Diesel, three-year-old miniature American Shepherd, and an early five penalties for Laura and from Diesel. Just too keen to go. We've seen that happen once or twice here. Too keen to go, and uh, what is a relatively simple first kennel club jump incurs the penalties but they're going to enjoy and celebrate every second. They have traveled this bear from Dublin for 10 years to watch the agility at Croft beyond their wildest dreams to actually be competing here on the green carpet. It's not the fastest, there are five penalty points, but Laura and Diesel can be very happy with their performance here today. Good effort, really good effort, 38.8 and the five penalties. It's the top three as things stand. Such a shame when you have the first obstacle down, it really does deflate you as a handler, but uh, kept her composure, managed to uh, keep it together for the whole round. Well done. Sarah Woodley from Camberley, another miniature American Shepherd. Betty, penultimate dog, this one in the large section. Section sweet and honest, this dog. Reminder that 42.7 Clear is leading this group at the moment. As uh, clenched fist equaling five penalties. Good contact at the bottom of the A frame. Whooping her around is Sarah and Betty, and it's working so far. 
come round this way. You're going to have to come round pretty sharply as well. Seesaw is fine. Coming towards the conclusion of the round, they'll want a very sharp finish, and the time will be very respectable as well. 39.7, that's good from Sarah, it's good from Betty, and it's good enough for fourth. Here it is, and approaching the weaving poles, and you can see comes out uh, and therefore gets five for a refusal. Last dog in the large section, Amanda Hampson from Newcastle under Lyme and Fun. Two-year-old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. And a very good looking animal. Fantastic dog to own and train this one. Lovely all the way through the weaves. Excellent. Oh dear, we don't see that too often. Amanda taking a knee as it were, but up and running again very quickly. Well done, Amanda. And well done, Fun. Having a spot of fun there, picking up five more penalties. Great recovery though from Amanda and from Fun. And that's a really good time. That is a really good time. 36.1 and just the five faults. And that's good enough for second place. What a great recovery. Yes, it was a great recovery. And unfortunately, uh, Amanda, they're uh, taking a bit of a tumble. And it's not the first time. I don't want to remind her, but a few years ago at the European Championships, she took a similar tumble, but went down a bit harder. But uh, up, and up and ready for some more. Well done.
here we are, it's presentation time. The really good bit where they get to relax and get their, get their trophies. And the person present, presenting the prizes this afternoon is Jackie Easton. There she is in the dark blue, the Kennel Club Chief Operating Officer. And she's presenting first of all to the medium and that is Joe Gleed with a very young Cocker Spaniel and Edge so she's going to be really really over the moon with that and the runner up the in this particular colours. part of the competition is Hayley Telling with Teal and on to the large novice we're going to move on to the large round. section the winner was Hayley and the winner was Hayley Latches with Maverick Again, really young dog, two-year-old flat coat retriever. And the when he's naughty, they Amanda call him Hampton Kevin, apparently, because he behaves like a teenager. And a lovely smile there from Amanda Hanson, fully recovered after a fall with fun, the Nova Scotia duck tolling so retriever. Again, a very young dog. Results. And the medium ABC uh, final. Now we're going to do the overall, overall results. That's the combination of the two. And the winner of, of that is... Hayley Telling, so she's the overall winner. And they, they've arrived at the overall by combining the results of this morning's jumping and round and this afternoon's Lee agility round. With agility champion, let's get ready to rumble. And the runner-up overall was Joe Gleed with Let's Get Ready to Rumble. And a young dog trying to get in on the action there. The Here we go. Well, give me that rosette. Was the winner Hansen of the large novice final was a very, very happy Amanda Hansen. Yeah. 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 Very young dog. Sarah Woodley with and the runner-up in the large Amanda was Hansen. Sarah Woodley. Yeah. And you can say they're just all so happy, and it does mean such a great lot. These people train for years and years to get here. They spend so well hours and hours, um, and, and it's, this is their just rewards. Please let's put our hands together as they take their lap of honour.